Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have a vintage haul that I was given from a friend, and she is a friend of my husband and I's, and she goes to swap meets up in um, more of the LA area. So she um, so will look sometimes, and if she sees things that she thinks I would like, then she picks them up. So. That's just awesome that she would even think of, you know, just think of me and pick things up when she sees them. So she found some really awesome old stuff that I can use in my junk journals. First thing she found here was this Knott's Berry Farm Super Bonanza Ghost Town ticket. So I thought that was cool. And then she found this United States of America Railroad Retirement Board Certificate of Service Months and Wages. And I was trying to look on it to see, like, it doesn't really have a, an amount. But anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then she found four of these, the work basket, and I found, I found one of these before, but these have... They're from the 1950s and 50, yeah, 1950s. So they are like sewing and all, like all kinds of crafty, it's like a little craft magazine. So it just has like awesome ads in it and articles. So there's this one. This one is from April. It has recipes and like flower stuff in it. So those are really cool. Here's another one from October. And then this one is from June. Funny, look at that. <laughs> the new miracle sock. That's what we need. Really cool. So those. And then she found me this Sears and Robot catalog. It's a reprint from 1908 and it was printed in 1969. I have a couple of these, but not this particular one. So this this is really awesome. So cool. But there is, I could use a lot of this for several different styles of junk journals. So it's really cool. And then she picked up this. It says kitchen secretary on it. And it has like a little shopping list for your groceries in there. It's really cute. And it has a little pencil that comes with it, but it just has a little pad in there. It's really adorable. And then she found an old checkbook. And it has a few checks left in it from the Bank of America in Los Angeles. So that was neat. She found a handful of these little tickets from Peter Piper Pizza. I've never heard of that before, but it must be somewhere up in LA, maybe. I don't know how old they are. Those would be great for altering. She found this, they're paints, they're metal paints. So Trichem Liquid Embroidery. And first we didn't know what they were, but I went online and it, it just seems like they're, they're just paints to paint on clothing, I think. And that's why it's called em, embroidery, liquid embroidery but it has 
several colors and then it has these things, whatever they're for. I don't know. But there is pewter and silver, antique gold, copper, and bronze. So that'll be cool. I'll be kind of, I'm going to look into more as to what they're actually used for. Oh, I guess it is for fabric because it says it's a permanent washable and dries on contact. So I'll just be for whatever I want to use them on, I guess. And I guess this is like a little dispenser. Maybe it makes it a little bit easier for the tube. So I think that's what they are. It's like a tube of paint. Open it up here. It's even, let's see here. Oh, it looks like this one leaked. Maybe. Get it out. Maybe it's just the top. It's stuck. Well, it's just a tube. We won't mess with that right now. We'll have to do that later. So anyways, just a couple more things here. She found this needle threader, witch needle threader, and it looks kind of have to try that out. <laughs> and then just one little sale tag there. She found an old card. It's a Christmas card. Really cute little like elves in a, a German shoe or Dutch. I guess that's what that is. And then an old picture. <laughs> it's funny like they're all on their horses. From 1979. I think. Oh, this is from Norway, the card is, so that's cool. And then she found this little set of postcards. It says Pixies. It's all the same, but it's just a cute little girl on the telephone. Thought that was cute. And then she found me four ribbons, the old ribbons. There's this one that's kind of like a denim with a polka dot. And then this one is like a sort of like a farm theme bandana and gingham pattern on it. And this is perfect because I'm doing a farm themed junk journals that I want to work on next as well as Raggedy Ann. So I think that would be perfect for that. And then this one, it isn't opened, but it's like a metallic pink and purple and bluish. I think this this would be nice for Christmas. And then this one, the pink bandana. And I was thinking about doing like breast cancer journals. Kind of like, you know, if I did them, I would, if I sold them in my Etsy shop, I would like donate the money for them. But I have this and I have some paper and stuff that I had picked up at a cop. But I thought about doing that, and I, this just reminded me of of that being the pink bandana. So, if if you guys are interested in anything like that, leave a comment down below um, if you would want me to do some journals for uh, breast cancer awareness. So, anyway, I hope you like this little haul here. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe. Remember to come back tomorrow so you can see the flip through of my fall junk journals and uh, check out my Etsy shop. So this is Kim with Creative Craftacality. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.